All right, so today I'm going to be tying my uh, own little variation of a classic pattern known as the uh, the woolly worm. <clears throat> so I'll get to tying it here. Um, just kind of a great all-around pattern for um, you know fish and trout, uh, other other fish species too. The the red tail, which is usually wool, I'm using rabbit, serves as kind of like a an attractor. <clears throat> So the hook I'm putting in the vise right now is uh, Cabela's model uh, 03, size 6. It's actually a dry fly hook, but I like to use it for a lot of my a lot of my woolly buggers and stuff like that. And then the uh, bead I'm going to be using is a uh, Cyclops uh, black, and that's the 532nd. So the thread here that I'm using is just uh, UTC black in uh, 140. Let's go ahead and just... Lay down a base of thread down the hook shank. <clears throat> Go ahead and cut your excess, and just wrap back to the uh, to the barb. There we go. And now for my tail, what I do is I use rabbit. I just like the way it moves in the water. So I have this red rabbit strip. I just cut off about a three-quarter, half inch to three-quarter inch length of uh, the the rabbit strip. Now what I'm going to do is just hold the ends of the fibers in my fingers and go ahead and trim off the hide. Like so you can just gather those fibers in your other hand. Grab the tips. And then clear any of the dubbing that's kind of caught in there. This will help kind of remove some unnecessary bulk. <clears throat> and save that dubbing that you pull out too, because you can use that later in other flies. <clears throat> and now for length, you want the tail to be about um, the length of the hook shank. So just put it on there, cinch it down with a nice wrap, and just kind of clean up as you go forward. All right. Okay. And now on my way back down, I'm gonna catch in my ribbing, which is actually gonna be this uh, black. Uh, crystal hackle in the medium. That's a hairline dubbin product. Just kind of wrap back. Be careful of the hook point as you do. You don't break your thread. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is this fly is going to kind of have two hackles. I've tied on my first one first. Uh, or my last one first, which is that uh, black uh, crystal hackle, and now I'm going to put on a uh, um, grizzly cock hackle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this in by the tip, so I'm going to go ahead and stroke back, prepare my feather by stroking down some of these fibers, getting the feather to kind of open up a little bit here. It'll help when I'm winding it forward. And then I just want to get kind of this point cleared like that. And now that's the part that I'm going to tie in. <clears throat> so just wrap forward a couple wraps. And then go ahead, sweep back that tip, and catch it in. And that'll kind of lock it in place a little better. <clears throat> and then you can actually just grab that tip and you should be able to just break it away. All right, so now we're ready to dub our body. And the first, the back half of the body, I'm going to do in a Kaufman uh, black stonefly dubbing. It's uh, just a nice mix uh, of uh, natural fibers, and then it has like um, these multicolored tinsel fibers inside of it. <clears throat> we'll just go ahead and move our hackles out of our way here for now.
and we want to bulk up the body a little bit um, kind of give some some material for our hackles to sink down into I'll just move this up to where you where your body's going to be start wrapping forward and you can kind of start thinner in the back Whoops. and then work your way forward here I'm going to need a little bit more dub in here like I said the first half we want to cover in this black and then the second half we're going to go to a to a peacock uh, ice dub <clears throat> yeah it looks like we're gonna need just a bit more Right. So get that on there. And we got a little bit too much dubbing, so we'll just take off a little bit of that. Okay. And we'll switch to the peacock ice dub. Go ahead and grab some of that and twist it onto our thread and when I do that I'm using quite a bit of pressure with my thumb and my forefinger you want it to uh, kind of wrap around the thread not not itself um, just something to keep in mind you don't want it to kind of clump on itself and then form like a loop that's um, kind of separate from the thread you want it to form kind of a coating that uh, over the thread with the thread is kind of like a core when you do your dubbing just go ahead and pick up pick up where you left off okay so we're just going to continue to wrap that peacock ice stub forward building up a good layer of it all the way up to the bead need just a tiny bit more Dubbing is just about the hardest thing for me to do when I'm making these videos because uh, of how close I position the camera. I can only do little bits at a time. And trim off maybe just a couple of the longer fibers. We'll end up brushing out some of this dubbing after we wrap our hackles forward. But uh, So I'm going to start off with my cock hackle fiber. And I am going to... Uh, counter wrap this usually the general rule of thumb is that you uh, uh, kind of wrap your weakest fiber the opposite direction uh, than how you wind your thread so <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this forward I better get it started the right way first here And it might not work with me, so I might have to, when you wind these fibers one way, they tend to lie quite a bit nicer than uh, when you do them a different way. You'll kind of notice as you work with them. So we'll just go ahead and do it like this. So just kind of wrap forward. Um, you, you can keep your wraps fairly close. Um, just kind of palmer that forward and what tying it in by the tip does is as I go forward um, the fibers tend to uh, taper um, towards the back so um, I get that nice um, 
taper down going from front to back. Since I get up to the bead here, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a 90 degree bend in my feather there. Do a couple wraps and then uh, do a wrap or two in front and then maybe just another wrap and then another wrap in front just to kind of make sure it's locked in place and then I'll go ahead and snip that off okay. just going to sweep those back and kind of make sure I have it caught real good alright <clears throat> so now you want to wind this uh, crystal hackle the opposite way that you wound your uh, your cock hackle and same thing um, kind of space these out you can space these out probably even more than you did uh, the, the the hackle wraps and then just kind of kind of work it in between the fibers so you don't trap all the fibers down as you go um, you will you will trap a few you can't avoid it but um, this kind of just helps minimize that a little bit Alright, when you get to the bead, you can go ahead and just tie that off, do a couple of turns over the top of the material, and a couple of turns in front, and just go ahead and catch it in with a couple more turns over top of the material, and a couple turns in front and you can snip off your excess okay just kind of sweep back any fibers that are pointing forward and just kind of build up a little bit of thread <clears throat> so we kind of already have a base of dubbing down uh, right behind the bead so um, kind of something to be able to wrap onto there <clears throat> as we finish up the fly. So we're basically ready to give it give it a whip finish. What I'm actually going to do is because I have my hackle fibers coming all the way up uh, to where I'm tying off, I'm going to go ahead and throw my head cement onto my thread first. This way I don't uh, don't get a bunch of head cement into the hackle fibers in my dubbing uh, if I try to do it once I've whip finished. So just one, two, three should be good. Tighten that up. Need to trim your thread. And that's pretty much the fly. So, um, I don't know, kind of neat, neat pattern. Um, it's got a little bit of flash with that ice tub. Um, really leggy looking fly. Um, that red, red uh, rabbit hair kind of gives it a bit of an attractor quality to it. Um, and I like the bead head. It just kind of um, that that five thirty second size is uh, pretty good all around size for um, getting your flies down. Um, you know, at a decently slow speed and still water, but it works well in rivers too. Might need to use a split shot here and there. And what I'm doing right now is just kind of trying to get out some of those dubbing fibers so that they're kind of in and amongst the, the hackle fibers. This kind of kind of adds to the fly, kind of bulks it up a little bit in the body, um, and it helps it look great when you're swimming it in the water. So hope this, uh, this fly catches your fish and um, enjoy.